Hello, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, putting or chipping from off the green, which is best? Well, the well, first thing we'll do is we'll have a little look at that, lay out a few parameters as to how to make a good decision. Second thing, we'll look at maybe a couple of adjustments you might make if you are putting from off the green. And at the end, we'll look at chipping and a way to sort of harmonize a chipping style when you're near to the green so it feels like a putting style that maybe makes the whole transition a little bit easier. Briefly, if you're new to the channel, would love it if you'd subscribe, hit the little bell there as well. You'd be notified every time we have a new video coming your way. And also, next time at the App Store, Scratch Golf Academy, you have a wonderful app free to you. Lots and lots of fun training tools, tempo stuff, warm up stuff. Hope you'll check that out. Okay, let's assume for the sake of discussion, we're more than just a yard or so off the green. If you're this near the green, hey, most of the time I would recommend putting. And typically in this sort of video, we're addressing the average golfer, not a zero handicap player, let's say. So what are the advantages of putting? Well, it's just a lot easier to guarantee or to count on reasonably good contact. It's not a guarantee, but it's a lot easier than chipping when you have loft. So your bad shot's likely nearly, not nearly as bad as a bad chip, etc., etc. The upside of chipping is that you take some of this variable, this fairway grass out, you land it on the green. So if you make good contact and you're a decent chipper, you probably have a little bit better distance control there. What are the outcomes? At the end of the day, you have to, at the moment, decide, am I more comfortable putting it or chipping it? It's as simple as that. You have to go with your gut. Just how is the lie? If it's a peachy king lie, hey, maybe a chip's a good idea. If the grass is a little wet and thick, maybe a chipping's a good idea just your gut says I'm not feeling that great or this fairway short go with your putting so at the end of the day you've got to go with your gut with your skill level and the variables around you what you think you'll do best at okay let's say I've chosen to putt it let's have a look at a couple of the adjustments first thing I would do avoid the pitfall most people get into I see this so often they don't make their backswing big enough their subconscious senses it so they have to punch at the ball. They often miss hit it, their rhythm isn't any good. You want that nice pendulum rhythm just on a big robust scale. So if I'm tick tock from 15 feet, tick tock from 80 or 90 feet or something like that, get some energy in that backswing so that the weight of the club in motion is going to do the job. A second tip to help you get that energy, I would go from my normal putting stance to slightly taller. My arms aren't certainly locked out, they're soft, but just a bit taller helps me create a little more freedom of motion, get the body to get those arms swing a little bit more, freeze it up a little bit. Let's have a look then at the chipping thing from this angle. I want to just tell you there's a link below this video to my three-part short game secrets video hope you'll check it out it's a nice course it's free to you okay final thought if you've chosen to putt if you've got a significant amount of fairway and it's a little bit on the slow side in your mind's eyes you try to visualize the putt you're about to hit maybe chop it into two halves so first thing you'd say is from the edge of the green to the hole how much ball speed do i need kind of picture that and then you think as i move back how much speed do i need to get to the edge of the green with that much speed left over your mind can do really well with this if you give it good information i think that's a big help especially if it's slow to quick okay final thought here let's talk chipping so a putter has the advantage of it's shorter and more vertical this is an eight iron i have here so make the eight iron more like a putter choke down on it and i would suggest more of a putting grip there's a lot of varieties but a putting grip is more on the sides of the shaft less on top of it so grip it more in the palms relax your arms pretty much mimic a putting setup with your eight iron it's not going to be exactly the same it'll stick out a bit more club will sit slightly up on its heel that's okay Again, rolling dealing from a several yards off the green on a good lie. The difference between the putt and the chip, the chip I'm going to play a little farther back and lean my weight a little more forward so that the center of my body is a little in front of the ball. That helps me just clip it with the slightest downward hit. This is an eight iron, so arms are soft, more or less a putting look. Just bounce it right up there, landed that right on the edge of the green. Get to know one club first. 8-iron would be a good choice, might be a 9-iron, and then maybe as you get a little bit more used to it, maybe a couple of clubs, 7 and 9 or 8 and wedge. Get familiar with them, and these shots, whether they're putts or chips, will feel much more similar to each other. And again, go with your gut and live with the outcome.